Shalwan. Uh, this is uh, the brother Tua Bosh from the Great Millstone Northwest Camp. I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders who rule well. And Shalom to the uh, Akiyam out there uh, pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the world. <coughs> uh, Earth, I should say. Uh, this is kind of a continuance of the last video I did. I didn't want to make it too long. Um, I had a couple more precepts to get into. So I'm going to jump right into them. And, uh, you know, hopefully this is edifying. Uh, this is Isaiah uh, 40 and starting at 15. Behold, the nations are as a, a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Right? So a balance, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is a weight. <clears throat> and when you're weighing your grain or whatever you're weighing, you're going to have dust that's going to accumulate that you're not going to be able to fit into um, the bags that you're going to be giving out. Um, and are you going to, you know, eventually that that dust is going to become part of the dirt. So you're not going to want to scrape that up and put it with grain because you're basically going to be eating mud <laughs> and dirt. So, <clears throat> um, so it's saying that the other nations are like that that dust it doesn't it's not going to be weighed it's not going to be a part of the sum that you get uh, uh when you when you when you go to get your grain from somebody who's weighing it out and selling it you're not gonna be like oh okay i got this let's weigh it okay can i get some of that dust too that looks really good just sitting there amongst all the uh the dirt and and, and mud clods and 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 uh goat dung you know you're not you're, you're not gonna worry about that it's it's something that you could blow away and it's gone um, behold, taketh up thy isles as a very little thing. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Right? So... <clears throat> The Most High is not going to change uh, uh, what He said. He's not going to say, "All right, all the all the nations don't matter. They're as a drop of a bucket. They are as the dust that falleth from a balance. They are uh, as spittle." He's not going to go from saying those things and then change his mind and be like, "All right, nah, man, I was just playing. Y'all are cool, man. Y'all are cool. Just come here. Y'all, all the stuff you done put through, you know, my the apple of my eye through, my children through." I'll forget about it. We'll just move on and go forward. And, and you know, you could be a part of this thing too. You know, that's <clears throat> that's not in the most high spirit to do that. Never, never once was he like, I hate Amalek. I hate Esau. Oh, now I love him. Throughout the whole book, the Old Testament, the Apocrypha and the New Testament, <clears throat> his hatred for Esau has always been continual. Right? It's been a, a constant hate. Um, and a constant love for Jacob constantly throughout the scriptures um, let me just grab this really quick this is Acts 2 and 20 uh, 21 and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear the words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by the miracles and wonders and signs which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Right? So it says, ye men of Israel. Right? That's the New Testament. Same thing it always says. Uh, 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 verbatim, it says God uh, or the Lord, the God of Israel, right? Which just means Yahweh, the most high power's name. The power, which God, Allah, means power uh, uh, of Israel, right? Because he's the power of Israel. He is the, uh, the uh, ruling force over Israel. And he always has been since he gave the commandments uh, to Moses in uh in deuteronomy and leviticus when he went on the mount and he gave gave out the laws statutes and commandments 
basically the orders of Ye of the Most High Power Yahweh, the God of of every of of all, when he when the power of Israel, when he um, went up on the mountain and came down with those tablets, he didn't read them to Ammon. He didn't read them and say, "All right, uh, some of you, some of you uh, Amalekites can come over here too." Um, uh, let's see, Ammon, you've been cool, man. You wanted to, you know, cut one of our right eye out and chop off our other arm, but you know what? Forget it. You can come over here too. He didn't do that. He came down to the nation of Israel, <clears throat> which had just been saved from uh, the Pharaoh of Egypt and brought into a, a, a wilderness to, to be judged for 40 years, right? But it was to test the faith because only the faithful were going to make it to the, the land of milk and honey. <clears throat> um, I'm going to grab also Amos and 3 and 2. All right, this is uh, Amos 3 and 2. And uh, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, and, and everything that these um, plagues that cleave unto us, um, those are part of our punishment. Right, he said, he says, you, uh, you, only you only have I known of all the families of the earth speaking to the nation of Israel you only therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities now <clears throat> there's a bunch of kids in the neighborhood right but but one of them, two of them are your, your children now some stuff happens everybody gets in trouble you're gonna let those children go to their parents and you're going to punish your children because you love them. You care for their well-being, so you need to teach them a lesson. You're not going to go out. You might s s tell these other people, oh, man, you know, you know, you're going out, but you're not going to punish them. You're going to go home. You're going to spank your kids. However you punish your children, you're going to put them in timeout. Whatever you do, you're going to show them punishment for the 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 uh, uh, for going off. For transgressing your laws, just like we transgress Yahweh's laws, and He's punishing us because He says He loves us and we're His only begotten children, right? Um, there's a scripture that goes with this in Baruch as well. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Which proves that we. Uh, that these um, curses are upon us. Uh, let me grab this one real quick uh, that the brother was quoting. Uh, Baruch 3 and 36. He, th he hath found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, and, in, uh, un and to Israel, Salakia, his beloved, Afterward, he did show himself upon the earth and converse with men, right? Again, he gave it his way of knowledge and he gave it to Jacob, his way. That's why we are to follow the law, statutes, and commandments because that's righteousness from the heavenly father, right? That's his way that he gave unto Israel and unto Jacob. Those commandments are his way, his power, his rulership. Um, I believe this is it. Uh... This is uh, Baruch 3 and 4. O Yahweh Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children which have sinned before thee. And what is sin? The transgression of the law. <clears throat> and uh, not hearkened unto the voice of thee, their power. For the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Right? And those plagues are those uh, curses that... Uh, the Most High said would come upon us if we did not hearken unto His way and unto His word and unto and and to do His 
his law, walk in his law and practice his statutes commandment, and commandments. <clears throat> and he said, if you don't do all these things, then these plagues shall come upon thee. Part of those plagues were slavery, um, watching our children be carted off uh, uh, and used as harlots, um, uh, being put in prisons. Uh, you shall beget sons and daughters, but you shall not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Uh, and he goes through a whole list of things that he said that would happen if you didn't hearken unto his word and do his st statutes and commandments and do what you were told to do. And this says um, that uh, the children of Israel, which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto thee, the voice of thee, their great power, or the voice of thee, their power, for the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. Right? <clears throat> and, um, you know, that's you know that's basically it. I just wanted to finish up those few. I think I'm going to finish out with Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Let me get up out of here. I don't want to make this too long. And it's basically just re reiterating, you know, the, what's already been because it, scriptures must be upon scriptures, line upon line, here a little and there a little for understanding, right? That's how these, these scriptures were given to us to, uh, um, to uh, be able to understand, to get proof. Because one scripture will say one thing, well, another scripture is going to back that up with another understanding. But the, the, that's how you're going to find the, the truth. That's how you're going to narrow it down. Like you could read a whole chapter, which is good to do. So you gain the understanding of that chapter. But within that chapter, there's going to be uh, uh, scriptures that need precepts to back it up make for more understanding. Uh, this is Psalms 147, starting at 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. All right? Simple as that. Simple as that. He hasn't dealt, so he hasn't given his law, statutes, and commandments unto any other nation because they he doesn't love them. He's not punishing them. Now, ultimately, he's going to uh, annihilate the nation of Edom and punish the other nations for, for their iniquities, for going off. Um, for, for a lesson as well, but it's not going to be out of chastening. It's going to be out of righteous indignation, anger, right? With us, his anger is to, uh, uh, it's to his, the destruction is unto uh, salvation, but unto the other nation, nations, it's uh, unto uh, uh, hellfire, which is these missiles, ICBM missiles that are coming to destroy this place. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Hopefully this was uh, edifying unto the uh, hopeful elect out there who uh learning and uh, uh maybe even those that are out teaching uh you know just uh peace and blessings unto the akim uh all praises glory unto yahweh shimmy and uh, double honor unto the apostle elders shalom